Uh, Jim, Michael, Brian, thank you so much for giving me a few minutes today and congratulations because I think the film is terrific. Oh, thank uh, you. And I was not a fan of it until I saw your version. I would add that, I think that's important. Um, Jim, I'll start with you. This is such a juicy, juicy part for you. You play Michael, the man who's hosting all the other guys throughout the evening. And he is such a loathsome character at times. He's totally, totally awful sometimes. Yeah. My question for you is, as an actor, how do you go about making a character who is that triggering for an audience into somebody that they also can relate to? Well, if I'm doing my job right, it's um, I'm coming at it from the very human point of why is he behaving that way? And if I can tap into that, which I hope to do, uh, then I think that it's then it's easy to relate to. I think that, you know, it gives it that that gravity of humanity that um, that anyone can identify with, however different you may be from the character of Michael. Sure, totally. Um, Michael, Bernard is a character that I felt a certain infinity with. He has this undying passion, we learn, for somebody that he knew in his youth. Um, and there's that beautiful flashback sequence where we learn about their time together. Um, my question for you is, do you think he ever gets over this man or does he carry the torch forever? And if so, why? Good question. There, was, there were two edits I saw that Joe did and the first one, it wasn't in there. The, the second one, he gives Bernard this beautiful moment where the entire room is just staring with bated breath at him. And he says, I think I've loved him all my life. Like the greatest confession that there's ever been. And I think he's going to be in love with him. He thought he saw him on the subway. He thinks he's gonna be at this party. He thinks he's gonna be somewhere downtown next week. And I think that happens for a lot of us. When your first love is that beautiful and poetic, you chase it forever until you get it again. That is an awesome answer. That's gonna give me a lot to think about, by the way. Um, Brian, in a way, you landed the character that I think is going to be most discussed coming out of this film. Um, Alan is Michael's old roommate, and we spend the entire show wondering, is he gay or is he not? My question for you, maybe you can finally resolve this debate that's been going on for 50 years. In the conversations you had with Joe, your director, and in the conversations you had with Mark Crowley, who wrote the play and the screenplay, what is he? How do you approach him? Well, I mean, I approach him as a human being who is, you know, definitely flawed, but try not to judge kind of what he is going through. It is a mystery. It's meant to be a mystery. Um, I did talk to Mart about it and uh, and Peter White, who played my part originally. We've talked at length about it. And, and also Joe. And Joe and I came up with a few um, ideas about exactly what he's doing there, but then he wanted to leave the rest up to me. And he also didn't want me to tell the other guys, especially... <laughs> Jim, I'm guessing because we're in that scene together. So it is meant to be mysterious and it is meant to create conversation and, um, and have the audience, you know, uh, uh, go away with, uh, with some, um, something to talk about and, you know, not, not sort of be spoon fed everything, which I think is great and made it really fun to play too. Thank you so much. You're absolutely wonderful in the film. Congratulations. Thank you very much.